Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Sharon, and in today's video, we are diving right back into the Jazz Fam Cinematic Universe. This time, though, we are touching on Rosalind from Family at Heart. If you are unfamiliar with who Rosalind is, she was actually one of Jessica's closest friends for a very long time, and although we've all speculated that they were no longer friends, Rosalind has finally come out with a Q&A where she's touched on this subject briefly. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. All right, welcome back. So before I get started, you guys know the drill. This is my channel where I share my thoughts and opinions. That being said, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. This is just my perspective. And oh my gosh, you might have a different point of view. Shocker. So if you do, that is totally okay. I hope that my comment section can be a place where we can all have open discussion. We can all have different perspectives, but remember to keep it classy in the comments below. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started in today's video. So I'm kind of unsure of how I want to start this and frame this, so I apologize in advance if my thoughts are really scattered and out of order, but I want to obviously play the Q&A for you guys and offer my commentary as we watch it together, but I, I want to also provide some context for us as viewers because there's a lot of reading in between the lines that we have to do in watching this Q&A. And if we all remember back to February 2022, exactly a year ago, is when us as viewers really started to see the falling out happen between Jessica and Rosalind. Do you guys remember when it was Jessica's birthday and they were all on a cruise and Rosalind was on that cruise, but she was like really nowhere to be seen in any of the group photos. She wasn't really posting about the, the cruise trip. And I think everybody was saying at that time, like, oh, Rosalind didn't purchase the internet package, so that's why she's, like, been MIA. In the past, she was very much present. She was overbearingly present, always, like, taking pictures with Jessica. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys remember seeing the video where um, they did the anniversary party for Jessica, her 10th year anniversary, and Rosalind was just, like, on Jessica. So it was very, very weird that she didn't post during that cruise. Again, that's when us as viewers really started to say, something's off here, something's not right. So with that being said, let's get into the Q&A and I'll snippet a couple clips here and there um, as they come into my mind. Um, a lot of people are wondering what happened to my other job. Um, it's kind of complicated and I wanna be as Ooh, vague as possible on purpose only because um, Brian still works there um, and I still attend church there so um, let's see so I don't know if you guys knew this but I grew up Christian I grew up very much involved in the church my parents were extremely conservative um, so I kind of understand the church dynamic and hearing, I'll be honest, I don't know very much about Rosalind, but hearing that she worked at the church is very weird to me because based on the lifestyle that she portrayed, based on, yeah, the lifestyle that she portrayed, like the partying, the drinking, things like that, that to me based on how I was raised, is not very much in line with what you would typically see in a church or someone who worked at the church. I never really knew that she was involved or religious until this moment, and I find that weird, uh, but I'll let her finish. The best way that I can put it is that I was put on paid administrative leave for a little while, which is a nice way of saying that, hey, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do based off of your actions. And while we figure out what we're gonna do, we need you to just stay away from your place of employment, but not to worry, we're gonna pay you still. So that is what happened with my job. So then after my paid administrative leave was up, I went back to work, we had a meeting, and I was informed that my position was no longer available. And I was like, I was shocked, but at the same time, I understood where they were coming from. Technically, I wasn't fired, but... 
technically you weren't fired, but they eliminated your position. So that was the politically correct way of saying you're fired. <laughs> so I don't know, it's weird. The best way to say it is that the lifestyle that I portrayed on social media wasn't what they were going for. And prior to my admin leave, I was um, asked to take certain things down off the internet and I was not the creator of it. So I told them no, because I didn't feel like it was my place to ask somebody to take content down. And at the end of the day, the content that was created that included me in it was me and I didn't feel like I needed to be somebody else. So long, long story short, I took a couple months off of work and um, I'm really curious to see what piece of content or what video was it that really put her, I guess, her position or her role as whatever job she had at the church in question. Like, what was it that you did that was so bad or deemed so unworthy for the church that they requested that you take it down because it was ruining their public image or you were representing the church so it was ruining their image? What was it? The only thing that I can think of was um, a Q&A that she did with Jessica on the Just Jess channel where they talked about threesomes, they were all drinking. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Another question that was really, really repetitive to me that I just kind of want to mention. But dun, dun, dun! I'm, I'm not going to elaborate on it because honestly, it's not my business. When people have falling outs and it has nothing to do with me, it's not my business and I'm not gonna discuss it. So we're just gonna move forward. I wonder if people were asking her about Amber and Jessica, if there was a fallout or if she has details with Janelle and Jessica and what happened behind the scenes. That is telling. From that, and I feel like Titus because I'm trying to figure out what is going on. Somebody asked if I would talk about friendships. Um, and AKA, what happened between you and Jessica? Where is she? Why is she never in your videos? It was a really nice way of saying if I would talk about friendships and the rest of my comments were very direct and they were talking about specific, you know, people in my life that used to be there that they, that people are now noticing those people aren't there anymore and things like that. Um, granted, this is my platform and I can say whatever I want. I also have to be mindful of, especially like, I also have to be mindful, let me finish that thought. I always, 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 always have to be mindful of other people's feelings and their life and how what I say on the internet is going to impact them and the content that I create, that I put online is going to impact them, not only just today, but also in the future. And I say this with so much. What? Why is she like beating around the bush so much? Just say it. It's the right word that I'm looking for. I'm so bilingual, it's pathetic. Sometimes I can say things in Hindi, but I can't say it in English. Um, the best way that I can describe it is that I wish there wasn't stuff on the internet that I didn't put up there, that, um, gosh, I can't figure out how to say this, goodness. Um, I wish there wasn't stuff on the internet about me that was personal, you know, that portrayed to other people my lifestyle when I was drinking. Um, because as you guys see, I have a family channel and I don't. So there's things that have been put out there that she's not happy about, right? Which kind of like is interesting to me because a lot of these people film their families, their kids, all of these things, and they're the ones that are in control of what's being put out there, right? The children have no say in anything, but it's interesting that she feels this way as an adult so I wonder how kids will feel about it as they get older and their thoughts change and they're not as thrilled that maybe their parents were family vloggers, etc., etc. I don't know, it's very interesting. And wow, that was an awful scream grab. I'm sorry, Rosalind. Yes, but if you know me in real life, 
I can. Um, typically, when I open alcohol, I won't vlog. Or when I'm with my friends, I won't vlog because I cherish the moments that I have with them and I want to hang out with them and spend time with them. So it's interesting that she says that. And I actually was on TikTok and I was like, Rosalind and Jess fam. And I found this TikTok where it's on Jessica's TikTok page where Jessica has water and she's offering it to Rosalyn and she's like do you want water water and she it has like a cute little minions sound to it and then Rosalyn pops out a fireball like girl you knew what you were doing okay like <laughs> you contributed to that it wasn't you like just casually drinking at a party like you were actually making a joke about preferring fireball to water so I don't understand like take some fucking accountability bro like seriously like I don't know I don't necessarily and there's a lot of videos like that that I found too where it's not necessarily her just being caught casually enjoying herself at a friend's like party or, or Jessica's gathering like she's actively like making TikToks and stuff that imply that she wants to li live a fun party drinking lifestyle so i don't understand where she's like oh my god like i'm just so regretful of these things that are out there on the internet like you were there rosalyn you were there they want to put out things on the internet about like my past friendships and stuff and if you read into what i'm saying as far as past are. friendships compared to friendships now. I have lost friends. I think I've lost friends due to my own reasoning and my own fault per se. Um, I'm a very honest person and I'm a very open person. And if I am your friend, if you consider me your friend, and if I tell you things, I expect you not to go tell somebody else. I expect it to stay between you and I without me telling you that it's going to stay between you and I. That's just an unwritten rule. And apparently I learned the wrong way and the hard way that I need to write these rules down and notarize it also. So, uh, Is she saying that because of Janelle releasing messages about her not wanting certain people at her house for Jessica's 10 year anniversary? Because that was messy. And that's like, if you are so concerned about people like s exposing you and saying things that you say behind closed doors, then don't be messy behind closed doors. Like what you said or what she said about in that message, and I'll read it to you guys. I'll post it here so you guys can see. Um, it's a group chat uh, that they had right before Jessica's 10-year anniversary party. And you have Hannah saying, we need to tell Callie and Elizabeth no. Jessica doesn't know we're going to the airport. She thinks we're going to have a fun day out that day. So no, they can't come. They can't come to the house. They can come to the house when we get back. That already is kind of like very mean girl behavior. Rosalind says, I just need to text them a reason why because apparently there may not be enough room isn't good enough. I'm annoyed also. Like, it's like, what the fuck? And Hannah says, tell them. So you're being a bitch. Like, you're just being mean. You're like, I don't want these people there. I just need it. Like, if you're so worried about it, just be nice. It's not that hard. Or if you don't want these messages out there, I don't know. It's it's so messy. It's so messy. And I feel like she's throwing shade at Janelle. And I think it's because of these messages. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. She says, I lied and said waiting on Chris, LMAO. Sorry, Chris. Here's what I'm going to send them. And then Hannah says, just tell them no. Say Hannah said no. And then... The next one is Rosalind saying, and you can't really see it because the screenshot was taken and Janelle's name is, is blocking Rosalind's name, but you guys can see it says Rosalind there if you zoom in. It says, can we just send a message to Amber and say, hey, we have a party planned for Jessica. It's not kid friendly, so we've left you out. Bye. And then Chris says, I mean, she knows about the party now, but maybe someone can talk to her this weekend and let her know kids are no bueno 
So then Rosalind says, so now since Amber knows about the party, she she can know how important it is for her to clean the house after her party. So there's a lot of instances where Rosalind is just messy. And I don't know, it's with all of that, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way because she's like, I didn't realize I had to notarize like a letter saying, I'm telling you something in private, you can't tell anyone. Like, don't be a smart ass, just don't be a bitch. Like, don't be mean, that's it. Being said, I've learned some hard lessons in the last like maybe two years and um, I just need to be mindful of how honest and open I am with people because that didn't get me very far. I just need to be careful of who I should talk to so that I don't get exposed is what I'm hearing. And maybe I'm wrong. But I also am a strong believer of people come in your life and they get out of your life for certain reasons. They're here for a reason. They teach you things. They, um, they come and go and the rest is just not predictable. So that's my take on my friendship. I'm not here to mention names. I'm not here to, you know, bash on people. Um, I am going to say that I made some bad decisions as far as confiding in people and um, I'm so nosy. You want to see what my neighbors are doing and going and who's here and who's not there. Um, I didn't, not really confided. I just said some things that was messy for it to be coming out of my mouth and um, it sure was. It was shared and shared and I'm sure it's continuing to be shared but it Okay, I think I think she is talking about the Janelle messages um, or the leaked messages um, for the group chat, so. 37, maybe 38 next month. I don't have time for that shit. I'll be honest, I don't. <laughs> and I'm just gonna move forward. She looks really good for 37 or 38. She looks amazing. Her skin is beautiful. Next question. Okay. So this video was unnecessarily long. I am so sorry about that. I don't have much more to say. This is just what I gathered from the Q&A and these are my thoughts. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts and what you guys took away from this Q&A. Do you guys think she was referring to the leaked messages that Janelle released? Do you guys think that there was more uh, that took place with maybe Jessica not removing content and that's why they're no longer friends? Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to watch my last video that I posted regarding Amber and the Fantastic Four podcast ending. Thank you guys for all your support and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!